Trucks started hauling water today to a local town which is growing close to becoming the state's community to go dry during this historic drought, the first one of those. Spicewoods Wells can no longer produce enough water to meet the needs of the community's 1,100 residents and elementary school. KXAN's Doug Shoup has details. This is home. Pam Simic and her neighbors moved to Spicewood Beach to escape city troubles and enjoy peaceful country living. It's nice and quiet. But the ongoing drought brought trouble to them anyway when wells could no longer produce enough water for the community. As the lake goes down, the wells go down, and, and the lake levels have fallen so low at this point that that, that small aquifer that this well is drilled into is, is run out of water. People who live in this area say they've never seen Lake Travis this low ever before. And when you see this dramatic picture, you can understand why three of the four wells located beyond this fence, which get water from the lake, are no longer operational. This is kind of new territory for all of us. We're not real sure how the lakes are going to react. We're not really sure how people's water wells, uh, whether it's a, a system such as this or someone's personal water well. Uh, you know, if this drought continues, there's going to be ongoing issues. Monday, the LCRA began hauling in at least four truckloads of water per day to keep a 129,000 gallon water storage tank full. The community is also under stage four water restrictions. Short term solution, yeah, it'll work for a while, but as a permanent solution, because it could take a year, maybe two years before our well is back to where it's usable. And that's only if we get rain. Do a rain dance for us, pray for us. In the meantime, the LCRA says it is exploring permanent options like drilling a new well. Until it comes up with a solution, it will pay for the $2 per 1,000 gallons of water trucked in along with fuel costs. And some customers worry that will eventually trickle down to the many fixed income seniors who live in this community. It's going to be devastating. Well, it's going to cost somebody a lot of money. Uh, and I don't think the LCRA is going to foot the whole bill. Doug Shoup, KXAN News.